You think Delilah did it? She's following us? Who is listening to us? So he's stuck all the notes up everywhere. Wants us to go southwest. Southwest. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am <laughs> getting drunk! I'm actually taking the backpack this time. Hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? <laughs> She's you pissed. Harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. So where do we think we're heading? Um, either Cottonwood Creek or the Medicine Wheel. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna head west. Let's head west until we get to the, the south turning. Oh, it's beeping a lot now. What is this? Another backpack with keys. Shit. What? Ah, uh, what is it? Uh. Right. <laughs> What's in the backpack? Cave 452. Oh, we got to go to the cave. D, I I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? I'm gonna go find out. Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. But the fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in the tower. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. It is not me. No. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Get back to the lookout? What the fuck? I thought we were going to go to the cave. Alright, keep heading north. This is fine. God. God. 
Please follow the goddamn path. I don't know why I keep getting the compass out. It doesn't seem to help me very much. Right, tower's there. Oh. See anything suspicious? No, oh, they're gone now. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Oh, God. Talking down at the site. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? She's freaking out. Oh God. Day 78. isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? No, it isn't, but that's not it. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it! Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation everything we just we got to be honest and consistent yeah i suppose you're right i know just tosses everything down um there was a book there by someone called richard sturgeon that's the same author as all the books we've been finding in the the boxes all right let's get out of here and go to the cave Just this fire is is anyone dealing with the fire? Because it seems like every single time I leave this lookout, there is more and more smoke closer to the lookout than before. Um So let's quickly check the map, because that really helps me. <laughs> uh we're gonna follow uh northeast. This way. find this path through and then we should be able to just keep following it around and around you think she's behind the stalking she's been flirting with Henry from the moment we got here maybe she is a little bit crazy Oh, 
Alright, I found the path. What can possibly go wrong? We must be getting close to figuring this thing out because the cave is the last... Well, actually, no, it's not. The, the cave is one of the last things on the map for something to happen in. We've also hey, got the medicine you... circle. You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Right, here's the cave. Use the key. Is gonna be. What the hell? Did I just get pushed? I feel like I got pushed. Find a way out of the cave. The gate closed behind us. It's a big ass cave in. Squeeze three. Oh god, this is my worst nightmare. Being trapped in a tiny, tiny claustrophobic cave system. No idea whether it would actually lead to a way out or not. Alright, jump across. If we don't find bodies, I'm gonna be disappointed. I know that sounds a bit macabre. Sounds really creepy. Wow, we're all the way over there. Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. So now we've got to we've got to make our way back to the damn lookout tower. Let's try and head west. Exaxel, hello, welcome, welcome to Firewatch. This is such a puzzling game. I think we have to go this way to get out of here. It's really intriguing. I oh, what is this? Someone's den. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle.
Okay, that's weird. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What is this? School folder? I found an old school folder. Oh. Folder Brian was a hell of a doodler. Shit! God damn it! Thank you, Vita. Holy shit! Oh my god. Okay, that's the third time. Third time's a charm. Thank you, Vita. Holy hell. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he <laughs> made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. Made you all I, jump as well? Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Richard Sturgeon books again. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Note to Ranger, aha! This could be good. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and return them to me? Brian Goodwin in the mail, my address is blah blah blah. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them. But I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. They're a bit rusty. Explore deeper in the cave. Right, looks like we're going to use those rusty things. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat, Dad fished a spot called Sinks Canyon. There didn't seem to be much of interest on there. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. This is a character sheet for a role-playing game. Cool. Alright, one more thing. A broken Game Boy or something? There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Hmm. All right, down we go. What do you think is in there? 
I don't fucking know. I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Yep. I'm hoping this is the way back to the tower. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Are you serious? <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Okay. Help me, oh lord. Find this cave once more. <laughs> because I am directionally challenged. Praise Jeebus, we have it. Here it is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get rid of that. So when we go again... And this is where we put our pitons. Hopefully that stays secure. Holy hell. Henry falls the end. Maybe it's the ghost of... You know the guy whose backpack we found? Maybe it's his ghost or something. And we're gonna find uh, a skeleton down here of a long dead body. is pretty deep. It's going to end in tears. <laughs> Maybe a whale skeleton. I still don't know why we're talking about whales all the time. If you explained it, I missed it. Oh shit. That's a body. Ah, oh, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You're Brian Goodwin. Broken... Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Is it his dad then that's wandering about the place? Because his son died here? He brought him climbing when he didn't want to climb anymore. And then he ended up getting killed. I knew there'd be a body down here. He's, he's been here a while. Climb out of the cave and report the body. It's not letting me run. There we go. <gasps> I should have taken a fucking photo. Oh, Jesus. You're a genius. 
You are a fucking genius. Why didn't I take photos all this time? I should have been taking pictures this whole time. Well. Oh. I feel like an idiot for not using that camera before. Alright, at least we've used it now on a very significant find. A dead body, so... If that body now disappears, we will have evidence that it was there. I'm not reading the chat 100% of the time. If my eyes are looking in this direction, I'm looking at the game. If I'm looking this way, I'm looking at a very tiny chat window. So if I miss stuff, which is easy for me to do, that is why. I got turned around. Was I going this way? Shit, I got turned around, I got so confused. Did I come from this direction? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. I think if I go out this way, it's closer to the lookout. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <gasps> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. To hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Hmm.